Live from Victory Church in Lakeland, Florida, we celebrate the outstanding students and teachers in the art of video production and film. With over 5,000 students across 110 schools, Polk County Television Production sets the standard for creative excellence. Join us as we honor our talented video editors, writers, and on-screen talent who bring their ideas to life. Tonight is made possible by generous donations from Class Link, Safari Montage, Polk Education Foundation, Lightspeed, Camcor, Smiley's Audio Visual, Bomar Trophy Shop, Men's Warehouse, Victory Church, and Vista Audio. Welcome to the 27th Annual Video Awards. Introducing your marshals for the evening, Jackson Howell from Caldwell Elementary, and Hailey Simmons from Philip O'Brien Elementary. And now, please welcome your hosts, Carmindy Lafferty from Modella Elementary and Angelique Linder from Lena Vista Elementary. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, and those watching at home, welcome to the 27th Annual Video Awards. Prepare to be amazed by a brilliant display of professional videos created by our own Polk County Public School students. Standing before you are the 2019 Students of the Year. These students have demonstrated remarkable character through their dedication to their school's television production program. Let's give them a round of applause. Tonight, these Students of the Year will present the winners for each category. Students of the Year, as you take your seats, we would like to remind you to come to the stage when it is your turn to present. This year, we have received 444 entries from 58 schools, involving more than 3,500 students. These productions are a testament to our students' creativity and ongoing commitment to excellence. Ten years ago, on this very stage, our guest speaker received the ITV Student of the Year Award. As an elementary school student, she interviewed top U.S. presidential candidates, produced a countless number of spectacular videos, and as a high school student, exercised her acting powers during the 2013 ITV Video Awards. She has been published in the J14 Magazine, the Scholastic News Magazine, and the Neon Literary Journal. This year, she will graduate from the University of Tampa with a bachelor's degree in writing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome George Jenkins High School graduate, Mrs. Shelby Fallon. <laughs> Good evening and thank you for the lovely introduction. I am blessed and so honored to have been asked to be the speaker for this year's video awards ceremony. Video productions has been a part of my life ever since I was a second grader at Griffin Elementary. Griffin, where are you at? Okay then. <laughs> well, that'll change. At first, it was just something I wanted to be a part of. Every day I saw these kids on the TV screen and thought that it looked like something fun to do. I decided to audition, and I remember being so nervous because I was the smallest and youngest person auditioning. I was so nervous because it felt like I was auditioning for Broadway. Little did I know that going into ITV would change my life forever. After getting in, I worked my way up the ladder from becoming parts of little segments to having my own segment called Shelby's World to being a reporter and finally being an anchor. When I was in fourth grade, the weekly news magazine, Scholastic News Magazine, published a contest looking for kid reporters. It seemed like fun, something fun to do. I enjoyed reporting for Seagull, Soaring Eagles News, so how would this be any different? I submitted my application and was selected to be one of their kid reporters. When I started reporting for the magazine, I had a bit of a head start compared to the other kid reporters. ITV Productions had given me the foundational skills of creating interesting questions, how to conduct interviews, and the ability to think on my feet. These skills helped me stand out among the rest of the reporters, and not even a year into reporting for the magazine, I was asked to cover the 2008 presidential election. 
I interviewed candidates like Mitt Romney, Mike Huckabee, Rudy Giuliani, John McCain, Hillary Clinton, and even met former President Barack Obama. My editor was continuously impressed with my skills, and I only attest it to ITV production. I did this all throughout elementary school and continued once I moved on to Lake Gibson Middle and became a part of the Shark Zone. I learned a lot under Ms. Setterberg. One thing I valued the most about her class is that she let us write our own scripts. Until then, I only had experience writing articles, and I never realized how much I enjoyed writing scripts for the, and little segments for the show. By continuously writing shows, I honed my screenwriting and television skills. And because of her class, I plan on pursuing screenwriting after graduation in May. For high school, I attended George Jenkins High School and was a part of ENN under Mr. Baker. High school was an interesting time for me as my growth began to develop in different ways besides journalism and anchoring and screenwriting. In ninth grade, I auditioned for the short film Indiana Jones and the Quest for the Lost Amulet. I had an interest in acting as I had auditioned for one of Mr. Gash's film before, but never snagged a role. This time, however, I was given the lead female of Marion Ravenwood. Filming with Mr. Gash and putting on the opening for ITV was one of the greatest experiences of my life. It gave me a confidence that I did know, did not know that I had, and opened doors for me that I never even knew existed. Now that I am graduating college, I have used the skills I learned through ITV nearly every day. Even though I am not a productions major, I use the time management skills learned from having to turn in projects on time, the creativity for coming up with new stories and concepts for segments, the critical thinking skills of creating intriguing and deep questions for interviews, and so much more. However, the most important thing I learned from ITV is to not allow people to tell you what you can and cannot do. I've been told time and time again that I should not get my hopes up about achieving big things and that I should change my major because you're going to be a starving artist. We are not creatives because we think we are going to make it. We are creatives because we know we are going to make it. When you have a vision for something, whether it be a short film, daily news show, music video, you know in your heart that you must create it. You put in the effort. You put in the hard work. You are consistent to make this thing that you see in your mind a reality. It doesn't matter if other people can't see the final product. That only means that they don't think the way that you do, that they cannot see how you're going to get past all the obstacles in your way. If you can see the end game, if you can put in the effort and the work, nothing else matters. Create what you want to create and be proud. Be proud if it doesn't win. Be proud if it isn't even a finalist. Be proud of yourself and the fact that you created something that used to only exist as an idea. Ideas can change the world if people like you are brave enough to pursue them. Thank you so much and good luck to everyone tonight. Thank you, Shelby, for those inspiring words and being an outstanding graduate of Polk County. Without further ado, let's move on to our first category presented by the announcing team from Dundee Academy, Valeria Brunko and Carly Glass. Short, film, short films give students the opportunity to tell a story to their school in a fun, creative way. Whether the story is serious, funny, scary, or in some cases all three, they're sure to bring enjoyment to anyone who watches it. Here are the nominees for Best Short Film. Davenport School of the Arts, Arepas for Me. Madala, Adventures in Mathland. Laughlin Oaks, The Lost Librarian. Southwest, Scholastic Park. Dr. Innie Roberts, Mr. Frog, Dundee Academy, Hendrix Potter and the Prisoner of the Fifth Grade. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Short Film, Ms. Skyla Vasquez, Alta Vista Elementary, and Ms. Martha Brown, Blake Academy. And the ITV Award goes to... Southwest Elementary! Elementary. <laughs> uh, 
This is Southwest's third win for short film. This is a story, a true story, of the power of science and the magic of growing things from a tiny seed. It started out as a normal school gardening project. None of us had any idea where it would lead. Maxwell, I brought in this plant. It looks a little wilted. Can you look at it for me? Sure, Mama. Just leave it over there. Okay, maybe it needs fertilizer, or maybe it's just getting water out too much. Maxwell, what did you do? What? You grew dinosaurs. How did you do this? Welcome to Scholastic Park. It started out innocently enough. This was just an ordinary greenhouse. Then something mysterious happened. Thank you so much for this award. I would like to thank my friend Amaya for her hard work. I would like to thank my tech crew and our awesome dinosaurs. Thank you to my mom, dad, and Mrs. Care for their support. Congratulations, Southwest Elementary. Due to time constraints, we are unable to show the full-length versions of our winning entries. However, tomorrow morning, you can access them in their entirety on the ITV website. Now, please welcome to the stage the announcing team from Dr. Annie Roberts Elementary, Luke Tao and Thomas Boyd. My parents do not have to do my math homework. Sometimes, they try to look it up on YouTube. This category is for videos that teach you something, like how to do math the new way. Sometimes, I mean, here are the nominees for Best Instructional Academic Video. Dundee Academy, an inquiry into the engineering cycle. Caldwell, if she had had a phone that day. Horizon. Pronoun game. Alta Vista. Rocketing through the solar system. Davenport School of the Arts. Cafeteria Chemistry. Lena Vista. Idiom? What's an idiom? Blake Academy Egg Experiment. Spesser L. Holland. Gravity. Dr. N. E. Roberts. Balanced versus unbalanced forces. Southwest, Shapesaurus. Medulla, Cap Cap Wrap. Lofman Oaks, Scientific Method Simplified. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Instructional Academic Video, Ms. Kylie Stamey, Brigham Academy, and Ms. Maya Sinha, Caldwell Elementary. This is Southwest's first win for instructional academic video. Yesterday, while we were waiting for school to start, Abby found a tiny blue dinosaur under the bench. She looked cold, so I let her climb in my backpack. We decided to just keep her in Abby's backpack, and soon it was time for math. As Miss Lex started teaching, the craziest thing happened. The little dinosaur climbed out of my backpack, sat on my desk, and listened to every word she said. We named her Shapeosaurus. She helped us find rectangle shapes all over school. Hey Abby, she's finding the shapes that we have been learning in math. Wait, she's not just finding them. She's painting them, how cool. And when she finds them, it looks like our math lesson from yesterday. Oh yeah, we are measuring perimeter, the distance around the outside edge of the shape. And when she fills the shape in, 
It looks like when we are figuring out the area of a shape. Right, that's how much surface area a shape covers. To find the perimeter of a shape, you add up all the measurements of all the sides, like this. This rectangle. Thank you. We hope that people would really like Shapeosaurus. We would like to thank our dinosaur, Evan Godfrey. He worked hard in that dinosaur suit. We would also like to thank Ms. Kerr, who helped us create this video. Thanks to our techs and editors for the awesome special effects. We are very grateful for our families that watch our films and encourage us. Thank you so much for this award. Congratulations, Southwest Elementary. I can see this video supporting curriculum in classrooms all across our county. Please welcome to the stage the announcing team from Davenport School of the Arts, Jack Smith and Anna Westfall. A documentary is a film that presents facts about a person or an event. Some are educational and some are entertaining. I'm sure tonight's winner fits this description. Here are the nominees for Best Documentary. Chain of Lakes, Mariatu's Hope. Lothman Oaks, Run, Hide, Fight. Lincoln Academy, The Past is Present. Southwest. Steve Pierce, a lesson in grit and determination. Spesser Del Holland, philanthropy. Medulla, another trashy story. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Documentary, Ms. Ashley Cooksey, Carlton Palmore Elementary, and Mr. Alexander Rodriguez, Chain of Lakes Elementary. And the ITV award goes to Lofman Oaks Elementary. This is Lofman Oaks' second win for documentary. If you see a stranger at your school. If you don't have an answer, don't worry, we're here to help. Now the first thing you need to know is what are strangers? Strangers are unwanted people who come onto your school campus. You can easily spot them because they won't have a badge like you see on teachers, principals, parent volunteers, and guests who come through the office. Strangers should not be talked to, trusted by you, or allowed to come near you. They can be dangerous and may want to hurt you. Now let's talk about what you should do if you see a stranger come onto your campus. Attention staff, we're in a lockdown, run, hide, fight. Everyone in lockdown procedure, ready to run. Please line up behind me and follow me. In any situation, you must listen to the adult in charge, like your teacher. They know what needs to happen to keep everyone safe. So make sure everyone in class is listening. First, I would like to thank our um, ITV team that um, just helped us throughout this video. Second, I would like to thank our principal for allowing us to do um, instructional television after school. And we are very proud of this video, and thank you for the award. Congratulations, Lofman Oaks, on that interesting documentary. Let's welcome to the stage the announcing team from Spessard L. Hall and Elementary, Lauren Lassiter and George Sapp. The person in front of the camera isn't the only person doing something. There's even a cameraman, editor, and even a script writer all behind the scenes. Even though you do not see them, they are doing a lot more than you think. This category acknowledges those behind the scenes heroes. Here are the nominees for best technical mastery.
Lewis Anna Woodbury, I Want to Be, Churchwell, Spider Jake, Library Defender, Horizons, Glow Fairy, Blake Academy Elementary, You Make Blake Exciting, Dr. Any e. Roberts, Virus Attack, Davenport School of the Arts Elementary, Never Forgetty, Alta Vista, Rocketing Through the Solar System, Spessert L. Holland, Gravity, Southwest, Shapeosaurus, Brigham Academy, Eye in the Sky Drone, Lofman Oaks, Scientific Methods Simplified. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Technical Mastery, Mr. Derek Acosta, Churchwell Elementary, and Ms. Adriana Gardner, Crystal Lake Elementary. And the ITV the Award goes, goes to, to Southwest, Southwest Elementary. Elementary. This is Southwest's first win for Technical Mastery. Rectangle is a quadrilateral, which means a four-sided shape with four right angles. At first, it seemed like a lot to remember, but then something amazing happened that made it so much fun. Yesterday, while we were waiting for school to start, Abby found a tiny blue dinosaur under the bench. She looked cold, so I let her climb in my backpack. As Miss Lex started teaching, the craziest thing happened. The little dinosaur climbed out of my backpack sat on my desk and listened to every word she said. We named her shape a source. Hey, Abby, she's finding the shapes that we have been learning in math. Wait, she's not just finding them. She's painting them. How cool. And when she finds them, it looks like our math lesson from yesterday. Oh, yeah, we are measuring perimeter, the distance around the outside edge of the shape. And when she fills the shape in, it looks like when we are figuring out the area of a shape. Right, that's how much surface area a shape covers. To find the perimeter of a shape, you add a <laughs> I just want to say thanks to everybody who helped us make this amazing um, thing. That's why we don't put the in Congratulations, Southwest Elementary, on mastering the technical aspects of video production. In addition to the Polk County Video Awards, our schools compete on a state and national level. Join us in congratulating these schools as they bring Polk County's standard of excellence to the rest of the country. And now, it is our pleasure to bring to the stage a person without whom our program would not be possible. Please welcome to the stage the superintendent of Polk County Public Schools, Mrs. Jacqueline Bird. Good evening. Okay, wait a minute. Good evening. This is like a night at the Oscars. We all should be awake because what you see before you this evening is the wonderful work that our students are putting on. And I can tell you, it is not an easy task. For them to stand before you this evening and present their work that they have done over the year is truly something that deserves a wild round, and I mean wild, round of applause. Let's let them hear how appreciative we are. This is the 27th Video Awards. And what I can say to you about the Video Awards that are before you tonight and that, are, uh, that have gone past this many years and those that are to come, we are and have been a leader in television production 
in the state of Florida. We should be proud of what our children are doing each and every day. Some are gonna move on. They're gonna showcase their talents here tonight, but they may move on to high school, and then they're gonna move on beyond that, and they're gonna be producing maybe some of the films, like the one Avenger, if you watch that this weekend, or they may be a new category that we have now, the technical category, they may be behind the scenes. Everything that you see it's not just scripted out from A to B. They have to understand when to interchange, when to incorporate different things, and when they must ad lib. And that is the work of their teachers, their administrators, and the ITV staff. So on behalf of myself and all the Polk County Public Schools, I would ask all the teachers, administrators, support staff, Please stand, because you truly deserve a round of applause for making sure our students are first. We applaud you for making tonight possible. Also, I would like to thank our parents, loved ones, guardians, grandparents, aunts, and uncles. As you chauffeur your children back and forth to school, you make sure that you support them and there are many different aspects in school. And this is just one of them. What you see tonight is truly amazing. What you will hear tonight is truly awesome. So again, to our students, thank you for putting, making sure we're putting students first in Polk County Public Schools, but thank you for the job well done. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you, Ms. Bird. Our next category celebrates our announcing team. Nominees, when you hear your names called, please come to the front of the stage. Please welcome to the stage the announcing team from Horizons Elementary, Sarah Klopp and Aria Munir. Teamwork is when individuals combine their skills in pursuit of a common goal. Te news team anchors work hard to learn and memorize their lines. A dynamic anchor team's chemistry, charisma, and confidence promote viewer engagement. Our student news team anchors of today pave the way to becoming professionals of tomorrow. Students, as you hear your names called, please come to the front of the stage steps to be recognized. Here are the nominees for best announcing team. Chain of Lakes, Layla Hidalgo and Victoria Bunadano. Horizons, Sarah Klupp and Ariam Munir. Medulla, Jane Ann Gonzalez and Maddie Aranda. Lofman Oaks, Diana Robin and Bradley Espinosa. Caldwell, Jackson Howell and Aiden Wessels. Sykes, Jaslyn Duquet and Brianna Moore. Carlton Palmore, Paige Cox, and Lauren Panagia. Philip O'Brien, Tylee Simmons, and Olivia McGee. Davenport School of the Arts, Anna Westfall, and Jack Smith. Southwest, Savani Peters, and Grayson Abbott. Spencer L. Holland, Lauren Lassiter, and George Sapp. Dr. Innie Roberts, Luke Cow, and Thomas Boyd. Sleepy Hill, Alyssa Delisle, and Isabella Morales. Blake Academy, Riley Bass, and Martha Brown. Dundee Academy, Valeria Bronco, and Carly Glass. Brigham Academy, Abby Dix, and Landon Waters. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Announcing Team, Mr. Liam Dixon, Davenport School of the Arts, Mr. Luke Tao, Dr. Annie Roberts Elementary, and Mr. Nathan Black, Wendell Watson Elementary. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2019 nominees for Best Announcing Team. <laughs> Maestro, drama please as our Students of the Year announce our winner. Andy 
the ITV award goes to Horizons Elementary. This is Horizon's first win for announcing team. Sarah, I am so tired of all this cold weather. We live in Florida. I know, Ariam. We should be enjoying warm weather and sunshine all year round. If only there was a way to find out if winter was going to end soon. Wait, there is. Really? Actually, tomorrow is a special winter holiday. It is, what day would that be? Well, Isabel, one of our Hawk News reporters, is prepared to inform us about that very topic. Isabel, tell us, what day is it today? How fun is that? Wasn't Punxsutawney Phil just adorable? He sure was. Let's do some more research over there in the lab to find out more about this enjoyable day. Ariam, I really have a compassion for your need of warmer weather, and that's why I'm helping you. Aw, thanks, Sarah. You truly are a great friend. I have some bad news, though. Oh, no. It says here that Gobbler's Knob in Pennsylvania claims to be the only place with a seasonal... Thank you for this honor. We would like to thank our ITV instructor, Miss B. Our parents, our crew, and our principal for letting this program be a possible. Thank you. Congratulations, Horizon Elementary. Our next category recognizes our female announcers. Nominees, when you hear your name called, please come to the front of the steps. Please welcome to the stage the announcing team from Dundee Academy, Valeria Brunko and Carly Glass. In our ever-changing culture, women should be celebrated for their accomplishments and encouraged to keep pursuing their dreams. More and more, women in news are showcasing their talents and abilities with reporting current events. Students, as you hear your names called, please come to the front of the stage steps to be recognized. Here are the nominees for Best Female Announcer. Lofman Oaks, Caden Hughes, Crystal Lake, Adriana Gardner, Madulla, Jalen Osman, Davenport School of the Arts Elementary, Abigail Dart, Dr. Innie Roberts, Kendra Dews, Lewis Anna Woodbury, Maria Hernandez, Chain of Lakes, Emma Welch, Sleepy Hill, Alyssa Acosta. Southwest, Holly Murphy. Carlton Palmore, Ashley Cooksey. Sykes, Natalie Burgess. Caldwell, Savannah Aguero. Dundee Academy, Nora Van Gundy. Blake Academy Elementary, Martha Brown. Horizon, Isabel Irizarry. Brigham Academy, Kylie Stamey. Philip O'Brien, Annalise Horton. Alta Vista, Alyssa Ramisar. Spessard L. Holland, Lauren Lassiter. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Female Announcer, Ms. Carly Glass, Dundee Elementary, Ms. Zermaya Destino, Garner Elementary, and Mr. Cole Stevens, Spessard L. Holland Elementary. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2019 nominees for Best Female Announcer.
Maestro, drumroll please, is our Students of the Year announce our winner. And the ITV award goes to Davenport School of the Arts, Abigail Dart. This is Davenport School of the Arts' second win for female announcer. I would like to say thank you to all of my... Good morning. I'm Miss Abigail, a recent graduate of Southern Charm School. I have spent a lot of time learning all about manners. In fact, I was the class valedictorian. First of all, we should all say please and thank you. Always say yes ma'am and no ma'am and yes sir and no sir, cause we are in the South after all. Always remember to look people in the eye when they are talking to you. And boys use a nice firm handshake. All of us should say hi or hello when we greet someone. To have good manners, you really must say excuse me and apologize when you need to. Excuse me. Hello? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Excuse me. I have to take this call. You all remember to mind your manners. I would like to say thank you to my ITV teacher, Mrs. Wilmoth, and all of my supporters that have come and supported me through this whole journey. Thank you. Congratulations, Davenport School of the Arts. Our next category recognizes our male announcers. Nominees, when you hear your names called, please come to the front of the stage. Please welcome to the stage the announcing team from Dr. Annie Roberts Elementary, Luke Tao, and Thomas Boyd. A movie. Oh. Have you ever watched a movie that made you feel like you're a part of it? Some male actors like Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Hemsworth are excellent at engaging the audience. These actors are talented in many ways, just like our students. Students, when you hear your name called, please come up to the front of the stage so as to be recognized. Here are the nominees for Best Male Announcers. Brigham Academy. Brian Bakuran. Horizon, Stephen Rivera. Dundee Academy, Hendrix Adams. Davenport School of the Arts Elementary, Jose Chacon. Lake Academy Elementary, Asher Barber. Crystal Lake, Landon Kent. Southwest. Grayson Abbott. Sleepy Hill, Jeremiah Brown. Carlton Palmore, Adrian Ruiz. Sykes, Gabriel Martinez. Spessard L. Holland, Cole Stevens. Lofman Oaks, Elijah McCroskey. Caldwell, Jackson Howell. Alta Vista, Huey Chumney. Dr. Innie Roberts, Aiden Smith. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Male Announcer, Ms. Sarah Klupp, Horizons Elementary, Ms. Brianna Harvey, Inwood Elementary, and Ms. Sienna Davis, Sleepy Hill Elementary. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2019 nominees for Best Male Announcer. Maestro, drumroll please as our Students of the Year announce our winner. And the ITV award goes to... Southwest Elementary, Grayson Abbott. This is Southwest's first win for me. Baseball, America's national pastime, a sport enjoyed by millions during spring and summer since the 1800s. From T-ball through intermediate little league, from beginners learning to hold a bat all the way through the power hitters in the senior league, American kids have grown up swinging a bat. 
Children of all ages spend countless hours pitching curveballs and sliders, fielding fly balls, and working the leather on their favorite baseball glove until it fit their hand just right. Every fall, the country tunes in for the grand finale of the baseball season, the World Series, the big show. This fall, America was especially captivated as the World Series played out, and one amazing player reminded us all of the power of grit. Steve Pierce of the Boston Red Sox has lived out the meaning of grit in his baseball career. Pierce grew up right here in Lakeland, Florida, enjoying Little League and Intermediate League. He has great memories of playing baseball in his backyard with his brother Chad. Thank you. It was so cool going to all these awesome places to film with my friends and my dad. I want to give a special thanks to my dad for putting up with the extreme heat on the golf course while we filmed. I would like to thank Gavin Adams for his extremely awesome editing. And I would also like to thank Mrs. Kerr and our principals for making all of this possible. Thank you again. Congratulations, Southwest Elementary. Please welcome to the stage the announcing team from Davenport School of the Arts, Jack Smith and Anna Westfall. You know, Jax, most people don't know the time and effort it takes to make a great music video. Yes, first you have to pick the right song, and that's just the beginning. Here are the nominees for Best Music Video. Dundee Academy, Rules for Writing. Horizons, Safety Wrap. Lothman Oaks, Soft Sea. Spesserit L. Holland, Sunny Day. Southwest, Devices Down. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Music Video, Ms. Angelique Linder, Lena Vista Elementary, Ms. Maria Hernandez, Louis Anna Woodbury Elementary, and Mr. Grayson Abbott, Southwest Elementary. And the winner is... Dundee, Dundee Academy. This is Dundee Academy's first win for music video. TV team are very thankful to accept this award. We would like to thank a few special people. Well, first, we would like to thank our principal, Ms. Tatum, for supporting our ITV team. Also, we would like to thank Ms. Detling for also supporting. And last, we would also like to thank Ms. Gonzalez, our music teacher, for helping us make the video. Congratulations, Dundee Academy. That music video was off the chain. Please welcome. 
Please welcome to the stage the announcing team from Special Dell Hall and Elementary, Lauren Laster and George Sapp. In a commercial or PSA, you have 30 to 60 seconds to try and sell something or get a message across. It may only be 60 seconds long, but it may have taken the creators multiple weeks to actually get the video completed. It is amazing to see all this come together. Here are the nominees for best commercial or PSA that have accomplished this task. Blake Academy Elementary. Book Cart, Churchwell, Otis Spunkmeyer, Davenport School of the Arts Elementary, Never Forget It, Caldwell, Looking for Treasure, Dundee Academy, Red Ribbon Week, Lofman Oak, Who's Going to the Book Fair? Dr. N.E. Roberts, Earwig, Polk City, On the Web, Crystal Lake, Bingo Book Bash, Sleepy Hill, Tropics Reading Program, Carlton Palmore, Popsicles for Sale, Southwest, Rockin' AR, Madulla, Say no to drugs. Horizon, Glow Bracelet Fairy. Spessor L. Holland, SPCA. Garner, Kiss the Pig. Brigham Academy, Eye in the Sky Drone. Wendell Watson, Chick-fil-A Spirit Night. Lena Vista, Winter Wonderland Conference Night. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Commercial, Mr. Ryan Corbett, Lincoln Avenue Academy, Ms. Anna Yelly, Andrews Nieves, Lofman Oaks Elementary, and Ms. Brianna Moore, Sykes Elementary. And the ITV Award goes to Lofman Oaks Elementary. This is Lofman Oaks' third win for commercial. New Star Wars Jedi Academy. Principal Strikes Back. Wow. Fly Guy and the Aliens! Did someone say aliens? Who are you? I'm the doctor. Now, where are the aliens? They're right here in this book. See? It's just one of these books you can buy at the book fair. What in the world is a book fair? Is it dangerous? No, it's like a bookstore that comes to your school for a week so you can buy new books. Yeah, like I'm gonna buy this one, Ranger and Time Hurricane Katrina Rescue, so I can read all about it. No one told us in the time machine. Why don't we just hop in and go see the hurricane for ourselves? But that would be dangerous. Yeah, I'd much rather read about it. The book fair will be open every day this week from 10 to 2.30, so make sure you bring money to school so you can shop for new books. The parents can shop at scholastic.com slash bookfairs. Hey, Doctor, I've got a jump for you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor who? Thank you for the award. We, I would like to thank the ITV team, the ITV staff. I'd also like to thank our principal to, for making all of this possible. And thank you for the award. Congratulations, Lofton Oaks. Our last category this evening is announced a little differently. When you hear your school's name among the nominees, please send the ITV teacher and one student to the stage to be recognized. Please welcome to the stage the announcing team from Horizons Elementary, Sarah Klopp and Aria Munir. A school's daily news show consists of a collection of important information about what is happening or is about to happen in our schools. Students, staff, and administrators tune in to learn about educational topics, 
to be informed about announcements, to be reminded about current events, or just to be entertained. Teachers, as you hear your school called, please select one student to accompany you to the front of the stage steps. Here are the nominees for Best Daily News Show. Lincoln Academy, Spessard L. Holland, Dr. Innie Roberts, Southwest, Sleepy Hill, Lofman Oaks, Garner, Philip O'Brien, Polk City, Horizons, Dundee Academy, Davenport School of the Arts Elementary, Carlton Palmore, Alta Vista, Brigham Academy, Crystal Lake, Caldwell, Churchwell, Lake Academy Elementary, Chain of Lakes, now presenting the ITV Award for Daily News Show, Ms. Andrea Citron, Medella Elementary, Ms. Marlea Rios, Philip O'Brien Elementary, and Mr. John Montoya, Polk City Elementary. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause to the best school news shows in the nation. We will now reveal the schools who have received a score between 90 and 100 percent. Nominees, when you hear your names called, please go up on the stage to receive your trophy. And the first school is Southwest Elementary. <laughs> And the, the second, second school is Longman Oaks Elementary. <laughs> and the and third, third school is Spencer L. Holland Elementary. And the la last school is Dr. N. E. Robert Elementary. As our schools receive their trophies and make their way off stage, we will, we will like take a moment to please look at the screens for the excellent new shows that scored between 80 and 89%. Congratulations to all of our winning schools. Each year, we recognize our ITV teachers that have 10 years of service. This year, we honor Jennifer Kerr from Southwest Elementary. Please come to the stage to receive your plaque and iPad for your program. Thank you for your service. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Luke Hart and the Lake Region High School Jasmine for their outstanding performance this evening.
Let's give another round of applause to JROTC cadets from Lake Gibson High School for their extraordinary assistance tonight. I like to call your attention to the screens to recognize our teacher or employee of the or nominees for teacher or employee of the year who assists with the ITV program in their schools. As we all know, it takes a great deal of hard work and dedication to, the, to get a television production program off the ground. That's why we created the Michael Robertson Most Improved Award. This award goes to the school who made the most progress from the previous year. When you hear your name called, please come to the stage to receive your award. Please stand as we welcome to the stage to present this award, the creator of video awards, Dr. David Yates. It's a, quite an honor to present this award on behalf of my lifelong uh, friend, Michael Robertson. He couldn't be with us tonight. He's uh, attending to his uh, wife. And for those of you who are married, you know what that's like in terms of uh, taking care of those that you love when they're not feeling well. But it's an honor to tell you who the most improved school is for this year, for the elementary level. Maestro? And the most improved elementary school program for 2019 is Wendell Watson Elementary. Our most distinguished honor of the evening is the Dr. Dave Yates Best in Show Award. Please welcome back to the stage, Dr. David Yates. This, of course, is the most prestigious honor of the night. All the awards that a school wins in each of the categories at different levels, like outstanding, best, and so forth, all those points are added up. Uh, you've seen a lot of fantastic entries, and it is quite an honor to tell you who the best in show for 2019 is. Maestro? Southwest Elementary School. Thank you. I would, we would really like to thank Mrs. Kerr, our outstanding ITV teacher, and our principals in school for allowing us to do this. <laughs> our final award this evening celebrates the school's year-long commitment to following the best practices of a television production program. Please welcome to the stage to present this award, Dr. Tina Barrios, Assistant Superintendent, and Mrs. Christy Devane, Director of School Technology Services. As we close our ceremony this evening, we are excited to recognize the elementary schools who have demonstrated a grand effort to produce a daily news show which follows a minimum of 70% of the ITV best practices, submit three news shows and videos for two other categories in the video awards competition, and most importantly, utilize the team approach of two or more teachers leading the ITV program. Originally, one school was to be selected for this award. However, with so many schools meeting the ITV best practices, it was impossible to select just one. If your school's name is called, please stand with your team and remain standing until all winners are announced. Each winner will receive a certificate of recognition, which will be in their school packets. Dr. Berrios? Brigham Academy. <laughs> Carlton. Palmer Elementary, <laughs> Churchwell, <laughs> Crystal Lake Elementary, 
Loft Minot. <laughs> Philip O'Brien Elementary. Polk City Elementary. Sleepy Hill Elementary. <laughs> Southwest Elementary. And Spessard L. Holland Elementary. Let thank you all and let's give all these schools a round of applause. A special thank you to Victory Church for the use of this beautiful facility that they, uh, they're so kind to let us do this every year. It's been a true blessing. We'd like to recognize John Diddle, Justin Phillips, and Kyle Condon for their expertise and hard work on the video awards each year. This event is truly a team effort, and we couldn't do it without multiple departments, including within our division, but also outside our division. It takes approximately 210 staff, students, and vendors to make this night possible. We'd like to thank all the parents, Superintendent Bird, board members, and district staff for your support and your attendance tonight. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all of our schools. We hope you had a wonderful evening. All outstanding and finalist certificates will be mailed to your school tomorrow morning. We will see you next year at the 2020 Polk County Video Awards. Good, Good night. night.